Good morning, YouTube family, and welcome back to another YouTube video in the beautiful Accra, Ghana. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. It's another scorcher. My watch, because everyone thinks I'm lying when I'm telling these temperatures, it is absolutely crazy if I can load this up now. It is currently 31 degrees Celsius and feels like 35, and the time is around half past nine in the morning we've got a busy morning we've got up we had some beautiful pull pull with some yogurt and muesli it was absolutely great it's one of my staples when i'm living here because the fruit just tastes so much more fresh and so much more just incredible compared to anywhere else when you get it fresh from the street so that is probably the plan today just take you all with see what we get up to see all the interesting things we do so i want to thank you all so much for watching and let's jump into the video First stop of the day is at this massive new center, also known as the palace. So the bottom floor, they have all of their, their groceries, meat, food. The next floor up, they have like gym equipment, outdoor equipment, absolutely everything. Then another floor up there, that is all of their clothing. And then I presume there's even another level going up. They also had massive accommodation and different things that you can come and drop your children off while you do all your shopping. You can see straight down the main road here, there also is some more uh, pharmacies there's also if you need to get fruit and veg lots of the little other places that I've shown in other videos it's just down there and the development is just absolutely massive another massive development going up here lovely it's really well organized it's a private holiday today so it's very 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 chilled not busy this was a massive Christmas tree that they've just covered up and then also another massive development going here more developments all over there you can see that one looks absolutely beautiful and then a world-famous private hospital just down the road there but also if you just continue down straight off this road I love hearing the music and everything like that there's also another full street that's just full of restaurants so there's pretty much something here for everyone but just look at this development it's kind of like a Walmart but everything you can find here but it is an absolutely glorious day just finished up with a couple of the things we needed we didn't get all of our major things here because the things that we can get from the the local ladies that we shop at would rather do it so the things like the fruit the potatoes the onions so we'll do that a little bit later but then when we we're just walking through the shop we we're deciding like should we go and get some or buy some ice cream and that you know mom and dad had a great idea that like, well we're so close let's go to pink berry which is really nice it's kind of like a frozen yogurt we do it every single time and then you can put like toppings on it whether it be chocolate 
to salt it or whatever you want. They have something for everyone. It's normally super busy in the Christmas holiday period. So I'm hoping that is not the case. Also today is a public holiday, but you can see the inside of the shop is absolutely world-class. It's extremely clean. Their prices are very, very competitive to some of the other places you can go where you have to feel like you have to sell an arm and a leg to be able to afford something. So it's very, very, I would say well priced, the very good quality of the food. And then as I said, there's a shop just up the road. That's where we're gonna head now and get some, some ice cream. All right, and just up the street, we come to the other shopping center. This is one of the most expensive shops I've ever looked at in Ghana. Really, really crazy expensive. But we are coming to this place over here. This is Pinkberry. It's a moment of truth. Number one, is it gonna be open? And number two, is it gonna be super busy? But you can see they have luxurious clothes, golf bag, everything but really watches crazy crazy expensive today's meant to be the hottest day of the week but i think it's because there's lots of cloud cover it's actually perfect temperature that is a very very cool looking car but it says they're open i don't see anyone inside but let's go inside it is open <music> One of these the smaller ones please thank you uh original please the, the standard one thank you so much thank you for my first scoop can i please get the m m's oh that looks amazing uh, what is this in the corner sorry kit kat ah can i have some kit kat please oh, i've never seen that one before that's fantastic um so i have one more I'll just go M&M's again, just to keep it simple. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just finished up, it was as good as we remembered it and just what we needed. And what I always do, she even laughed because they know I say because we come here so often over the years. I always ask because you get three scoops. I always do M&M's and I always do just another random one. And then I always go, hmm. What I feel like again and then I always say M&M's again because then they have to match the amount of M&M's they put on the first time for the third scoop but it was really really nice very very refreshing there's also another uh, local farmers market type thing that you can <laughs> that you can get from I'm getting in the wrong side of the car but now we're going to quickly go to the local lady and get all of our vegetables and fresh fruit and that that we need what i mean where you can get it super 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 fresh there's some pineapples there mango pawpaw avocados plantain bananas everything you can think of they have it here this is literally just in front of the italian embassy so whenever we speak about this place also some lettuce looks absolutely delicious lettuce is extremely expensive in Ghana, so the fact they have it here makes it much more affordable you can see some massive watermelons in the backwards over there some beet also some cucumbers you can see everything your potatoes that's why i always say think smart shop local and there's just absolutely everything you can get your oils you can get your plantain chips these things are absolutely delicious your nuts they also have your eggs carrots ginger so it really is like a full operating supermarket it's just operational outdoors so if you know where the italian embassy is in a crowd ghana i would highly recommend i cannot film it obviously for obvious reasons but really come and get everything local super fresh it's even a public holiday today they're still here so come and support local and i promise you you will not regret it so we're just grabbing up everything we need and then we're going to head home so we just finished off now we got our two packets full of stuff and all in all everything we got from avocado to onions to potatoes to absolutely everything we need it all came to 80 cds so if you divide that by like 15 you get it in euros so it's around five euros if even that or two full packets worth of things so that's what i say it is so worthwhile it's so 
it's just a smart choice to do because obviously you're supporting a local community you're also getting stuff at a great bargain compared to going to massive shops so super happy with our food for the next couple of days We had a lovely, lovely barbecue in the afternoon, or if you're from South Africa, you will call it a braai. It was really, really lovely. And a question that I kept on getting asked in so many of my other videos, and I kind of alluded to it, but they asked me again, is that they want to know, is Ghana safe? People want to know, is it safe to come and visit? And I think it's an important question to, to ask because a lot of people, hello there, how are you? Good, thank you. And it's a question that gets asked a lot. So I thought, okay, let me address it in this video after I've had an absolutely beautiful day here. And I'll start by saying Ghanaians are some of the most friendliest, happiest, most down to earth people I've ever met. In a lot of countries that I've visited in the past, people are very aggressive, very unwelcoming to foreigners and Ghanaians are just so chilled. They just want everyone to do well. They just support each other. They're entrepreneurs at heart and the places and things I was able to experience in Ghana is something like I've never been able to experience anywhere else in the world. Going to the biggest open air market in Africa, going into the local community, seeing their way of life, meeting new people and just, I feel completely, completely safe here. Obviously it depends on the areas because I still believe there are areas that are not as great compared to other areas and not as safe. But for instance, even my dad said, he was whenever he goes to the pub or goes out with his friends after a round of golf he walks himself home because he doesn't want to drink and drive it can be middle of the night he said he has absolutely no problem but if it was in south africa he said there would be absolutely no chance that he would do that so we feel very very safe here i still always say you've got to be careful you've got to be cautious but that's with any country in the world whether you're in Belgium, south africa australia there's still areas there that we know are maybe not as nice as others but this is amazing as far as you can see back and as far down there's like a wood workshop and this is kind of like the outdoor showrooms if you can call it this so it goes all the way down this way a showroom and then everything in the back is where everything gets made hello there and just the craftsmanship in that is absolutely incredible but we've been walking now for about 40 minutes around 35 degrees still half past six at night but no sorry half past five Top was five in the evening, had another massive meal and seen as how we had a big, big meal also uh, for Christmas time, I was like, it's time to burn off some calories. So that is just my experience. I find Ghana extremely safe, extremely welcoming. I can go into the markets, I can walk around by myself, I can do things that I've never been able to do, say in South Africa or some other African countries. So I hope this is very helpful, but just come explain, see it for yourself. Be wise in the decisions you make as you would make in any other country. But I would definitely say do not hide away from it. Do not want to not come to a country because you have the stigma of what you see on news and everything like that. Because I can tell you it is far, far from that. From the things that I saw of Ghana from when I landed and experienced it is one of the main reasons that I really decided to pursue my YouTube channel towards of changing the narrative of Africa, changing the narrative of Ghana because it was just so night and day to what I was expecting. But working up the sweat here, gonna just carry on walking, maybe another 20 minutes, get a nice hour worth of cardio. And so that is gonna conclude the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. And don't forget to come along and join the family.